This time on Life Circle, we're in Alberta's mountains looking for bighorn sheep. Hey, how are you today? Good, how are you? Not bad. Hey, I made a little boo-boo here at a gas station. I put uh, about 13 liters of gasoline in my 450. It holds about 140, I think. Okay. And I'm wondering how much trouble I'm in. Uh, you're probably not too bad. Did you fill it the rest of it with diesel? You bet, yeah. Yeah, you should be okay. I'm going to put you through to Lennis, my service manager, and just tell him. And he, I think you'll be okay, though. Hello, Lennis here. Hi, how are you today? I'm okay yourself. So what? What's the worst case scenario? What's? Well, it could take the pump out of it. Is it a six? What year? What year truck is it? 2010. Deep down inside the top of your engine, you got to remove the pump or the cap to change it. Right. It's a major. Like I guess there's a chance you'd you'd be okay, but holy shit, if you're not, and then you're stuck on the bill for if you're hung, like it's a twelve thousand dollar repair if you if you run it. We don't know if they're rams or not, but we found some sheep. They're uh, grazing up on the mountain there, right at the very top. It's going to be quite the ordeal to get up there. <laughs> Gotta be half goat to do this.
since we were almost out of daylight, we thought we'd better get out of the mountains, head back to camp, try again in the morning. Well, we're about 90% of the way up this drainage here, and man, it's steep. It's, uh, it's quite the hike. And yesterday we had a problem of it getting hot in the afternoon. I think today it's going to get colder, so it's tough to figure out what to, how to layer up. The guy's sweating so much now, but once we get up to the top, it's going to be a different story. Brian's actually the guy that taught me how to call sheep. He's yeah. kind of do a, like you got to be, you got to kind of have an area that you want to project your voice to and you just go, uh, you are an idiot. Oh my god. Get ready boys, you're coming. I think the snow's coming. That too. We're uh, up at the top now. We shot, saw the sheep over there yesterday. Unfortunately, it's kind of fogged in here. I don't know how much we're going to be able to glass, but we're up here. Hopefully this weather clears up and we can get a shot at these sheep. Rain to hail to snow. No end in sight. Didn't look good first thing this morning, like the old guy said when we were coming in. Old cheap hunter we talked to, he said the wind's out of the east, and that's not going to bring anything good. So he didn't even come out today, and I can see why now. Well, all this rain and hail and snow and sleet is giving us some camera problems. So we're down to a camcorder. set up here. Uh, last morning everyone's bailed on me so hoping to stay another day but I think everyone's tired of the rain and the snow and ready to go home so gonna hunt this morning do a little bit of glassing see if I can't see a sheep. I'm not really expecting to see a shooter ram but you never know so we'll check things out and see how it turns out. Spooked a grizzly here. He's obviously been doing some digging. I don't know if he's eating these roots or what he's doing. He must have been just kind of behind where I was sitting, spotting there. 
I just walked a about 30 yards and spooked something and realized it was grizzly. So I think I'm gonna head back to camp. Leave this guy alone. Hope everyone's hungry. I mean, with the adrenaline pumping like that at 20 yards. Yeah. Next time on Life Circle, we're on an all species hunt. Keep the muzzles blazing.